Hi everyone, today I have this beautiful makeup tutorial which I believe would be perfect for any Christmas occasion. So stay tuned if you want to see. Starting off, I'm using my favourite combination at the moment and it begins with the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. So I'm just going to take some of that and place it all over my face. It has a really nice fresh scent to it as well. Now I'm going to be using a favourite combination of mine lately for special events. It starts out with the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. This is in NC35. So I'm just taking some and blobbing it all over my face. Hopefully this foundation is dark enough for me today because I am very, very tanned. Now I'm going to mix the foundation by blobbing all over my face also the Australis Highlights. This is in gold. I have used previously the Face of Australia Illuminator. So I know that this works really well. I assume that this will work the same. And just blob it everywhere. Now that I look like I have the measles, I'm actually going to buff it all into my skin and mix it all together. And this is the Real Techniques buffing brush. Someone just asked me on one of my videos, I need to go and reply to it, but they couldn't find this brush on the iHub website. It's because it actually only comes in packs. So you can only buy it with the Flawless Base Set and you can only buy it with Sam's Picks, which is pretty annoying, but the other brushes are really good anyway. And just applying some more foundation to cover up my redness on my cheeks and chin and even out any imperfections on my skin. I'm going to let that settle into my skin for a few minutes so I'm just going to sit here and do nothing pretty much and just play with it on my face. I do find when I have a spray tan that my face goes a little bit funny so while it is good to have a tan face to match the rest of your body the foundation doesn't settle the same on it especially on my nose. So I'm just going to sit here and just kind of stipple it in uh, you can also get a beauty blender, I just can't be bothered going and getting mine from the other room. Today I'm using two different concealers. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bisque, and then I'm also using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in 3 Warm Medium. So I'm going to use this one first to correct the dark circles in my eyes, just in the inner corner and just right directly in that corner there. And then I'll use this one to bring down a little bit further and also highlight my nose and highlight my chin and yeah, just spread it all out and everything. So just taking the product on my ring finger, I'm going to press it in to the problem area and taking a little bit more, just going to press it in there. This conceal has a salmon tinge to it, so it does work on correcting those colours there, the blue colours. Hopefully you guys can see the difference that applying it just to one side makes. Now for the other concealer, so I'm just applying it in that triangle area there. I'll also apply it down my nose and a little bit on the forehead. And this I'm going to blend out with my ring finger as well. Just lightly dab it. It'll take some time to blend it out perfectly, but the result is worth it. I like this concealer because it's not too wet and it doesn't dry too quickly. So it's a nice mix of both worlds. Now I'm just going to go in and make sure that that's all nicely blended with my foundation brush just by tapping it on the areas. At this point you can see that the foundation is really sunk into my skin so it's not just sitting on top like it was before. What I'm going to do now is take some of the highlights again. I just want a tiny amount and I'm going to place it on top of my cheekbones there. Just slightly dab it like we were dabbing it with the concealer. Just on tops of the cheekbones and up towards the the temples there. For an event it's really nice to be able to go for the HD powder however this one is white so it will show up and have a flashback if you are having flash photography taken. I probably won't have flash photography taken tonight but just in case I'm going to use this pressed powder which will not give me any flashback. I 
I'm just going to comb out my brows before I apply the product to them. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This is in the color blonde and I'm using the Anastasia brush in number 12 to apply it. Getting product on the brush, I'm going to take a little mirror here, but I'm going to apply it to the top of my arch first because that's where I want it to be the most defined, apart from the, the flick at the end. But I'm going to apply the most product there first, and then work it down. And I'll gradually work my way in along the brow until I have the least amount of product on my brush, and then I'll flick it from the start of my brow. So just with hardly any product on my brush at all. Then once I've finished, I will brush out my brows, of course concentrating on the front part as I want to fade that out a bit and then bringing the spoolie along the shape of my brow. Just very lightly, you don't want to go in too hard. To warm up my face I'm using the bronzer from the Sleek Contour Kit. This is the light one so it is quite a warm toned bronzer so I wouldn't really recommend it for contouring. So just along the edges of the face and jawline. Then for contouring, I'm using my NYX Blush in Taupe. And on the forehead, just on the edges there. Also the nose. And just underneath the lip. And you want to contour your jawline as well. I especially like to do this because my jawline isn't very defined. So it kind of gives me one. For blush, I'm just using a very basic and natural one, which is this Essence Silky Touch Blush in Natural Beauty. So it's very just neutral. And I'm going to blend all that in together just with my powder brush. For highlight today, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle. This is a mineralized skin finish, and I'm taking it on this Real Techniques setting brush. I find that it works best on this setting brush. I used to use it on a fan brush and didn't really like it. It turned out a bit too chunky. So I use it on this one and it works a lot, a lot better. So you can see how the light just hits that part there. To start off my eyes, I'm using my Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. I'm going to put that on my lid and then I'm going to blend it all the way up into my brow. Today I'm going to be using the Lorac Mega Pro Palette and I'm really excited because I've barely used it. First up I'm taking this colour here called Khaki and it's a matte colour. And I'm going to apply that in my crease just to give it a nice shadow. This colour is perfect if you don't want to look like you're wearing eyeshadow and you just wanted a bit of definition. Next I'm taking the colour Cashmere which is a beautiful champagne colour. I'm going to just pop that all over the lid, just pressing it in. Next I'm taking this colour here up the top called Sepia, which is a very warm toned matte brown. I'm going to run that through the crease as well, just to blend all that in together. I just can't stay away from my warm toned crease colours. I'm going to take this colour here called Smoky Topaz, and I'm going to pop that on the outer lid. Oh, I like that. Actually, I like that better than the other one. I'll take it over halfway. I really like that color. Actually, I'll just cover the whole lid in it because I like that better than the other one. Then I'm taking Khaki on the lower lash line. And I'll pop a little bit of Khaki in that crease there. I'm going to take a little bit of stone which is like a dark grey colour and place it just in the top of that crease there and I'll place some on the lower lash line as well. I always love a really smoked out lower lash line, I just can't stay away from it. Then I'll take cashmere and I'll do a highlight on my brow bone with it and then I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just blend it all in together. I'll take cashmere on the inner corner as well as a highlight there. I'm 
go to use the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in black. This is one of the wind up ones. I'm going to trace along my waterline, lower lash line and tight line. So now it's time for eyeliner. I'm going to create a, I would hope to say, large wing, not extra large. I'm now up to mascara, but in the meantime, I'm going to get my lash glue nice and tacky so then I can apply my lashes. So I just have it sitting on a bottle, getting nice and dry and tacky. For mascara, I'm using my Maybelline Rocket Mascara. I like this one because it's nice and black. It is also the waterproof version. It's because I know my eyes water quite a lot. I'm going to color in the top part of my lashes that didn't get covered by mascara just with this eyeliner same one as I was using before just because they are really fair and these ones at the front they may or may not get covered by the false lashes I'm using the Red Cherry 217 lashes today they are nice and long and wispy I do always like to cut my lashes a little bit before I put them on because they're actually made very long so I cut two or three strands off them make sure the glue is nice and tacky and I am going to just place that on my lash line. I'll wait for the lashes to dry a little bit before I go back in with the liquid liner to clean up the glue. In the meantime, moving on to lips, I'm using the Essence Red Lip Liner in Femme Fatale. Going to put some foundation on my lips and then some powder, which will help it stay on a lot better. Today I've got these two lipsticks from Kardashian Beauty. They are the N Joystick. I have the colors Retro Red and Rose Parade. I had in mind that I wanted to wear Retro Red, but I think Rose Parade will go with my nails a little bit better. But in saying that, my lips are quite dark at the moment with this. Yeah, this sounds a little bit more orange. I think I'm gonna go in with Retro Red. I am going to go and clean it up. I'm going to take some concealer with this brush and trace around the edges of my lips. Can't really be on camera for this because I lean down really close to the mirror. Okay, so now I look really funny like this. What I'm going to do is blend out the concealer and fix it all up and make those lines nice and crisp. I'm going to blot my lips. Make sure the color is still really strong. And then I'm finished. So apparently then I decided to make some really ugly faces on camera and not film an outro. But thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.